Yo guys, what's going on? Spoopy here with the car guys. I'm here with Fisher Orlando. What's going on, Fisher? I heard you just got top 64. Is that right? Yeah. Dude, congrats, man. Uh, Thanks. Biggest event probably in the world. What, how many players do we have? 2,000 something like that. Oh um, my, that's ridiculous. So 60. Top 64 is ridiculous. What did you play? Uh, I played Shadal with uh, the Star Seraph engine. And why did you choose that deck this weekend? Um, I've been playing Shadals actually for a long time, probably like five, six months. So I knew I was going to play Shadals. And I really wanted to play the Stick and Chair because, in my opinion, it helps me in the mirror to make Diamond. Mm -hmm. And it really just helps blow out all your other matchups. Okay. All right, so what was your record after Swift? Uh, I was 9-3. and three. I actually uh -huh. lost. I was not. So day one, I was... Uh, 7-1 and I lost the last round so I ended 7-2 and then day 2 there was 3 rounds so I won the first 2 and I lost on the bubble I lost in the bubble to a BA player so I was actually pretty upset I was like wow I lost in the bubble I'm not that top but then when they did the announcements I ended up in 59th place and then you fucking nutted up didn't you yeah, you went crazy I, I was happy I can, I can understand dude so um, let's get into this deck I really want to see what you played and everything alright so um, obviously I played a 3 stick and a 3 chair mm -hmm. For the uh, Seraph engine. Okay, I have one question to ask you. How many times did you open that this weekend? Open it? Only a couple, but I'd say probably at least 10 to 12 times. I call the Haunted or okay. Soul Charge. Okay, did the combo. call play or the Soul Play. Yeah, okay. that, that would really, I based my deck around basically bringing out the Stick and Chair combo to kill him and then using the fusions and stuff to okay. uh, you know, yeah. kill him. Um, so for the Shaw engine, I, I roll with two beasts. I play with two dragons actually. Uh, helps in the BA and Teller matchup and the Klee matchup. Sometimes I side one out against Necros, um, two Matas, uh, two Falks, and only one Hog. Mm -hmm. uh, I only play two Math because obviously the extra normal summons off the yeah. sticks. Para Para. Uh, I've actually seen a couple people not playing this. This card's broken. It uh, won me a lot of matchups. Um, I play Trip Valor, obviously. You gotta Trish. play that. Yeah. And then Soldier. I drew this in like the first like probably like seven or eight rounds. I drew it uh, probably like two or three times to go for game. And then in round uh, 10, I believe, it was like round 10 or 11 against the mirror, I killed him with this. Um, that's what's up. So yeah. So that's the monster lineup. I don't know how many it is. Or like 20 or so. Something, yeah, 20 something. Uh, for the spells, I went with three of each fusion. I didn't play any of the equip card. Because I feel like I didn't need it. It was just another dead card. Waste my normal summon. Um, I played one Dark Hole and one Regeki. I was playing two Dark Holes. But I didn't think I needed it. And I needed space in the deck. Mm -hmm. Obviously the Gin Lock. And then Foolish and Soul Charge. Uh, some people don't play Soul Charge. This card's broken. Like, I, would, card. I would never take it out. Yeah. Uh, I only played two Mistake. Um, <laughs> I only had two Mistake. <laughs> I, I kind of like... I kind of just like roll with whatever I have, so I, I was cool playing two mistake. I actually barely ever drew it. Um, I the why. one time I really drew it was um, against my friend, unfortunately. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but two mistake worked out. Okay. Uh, two calls. I I usually side one out because you don't really need to. Yeah. Because game one, obviously, I focus on like OT and I'm game two and three, I control them. Uh, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm actually like uh, contemplating three. Cause this card's like really broken. Like it helps you. It gives you such an advantage when you flip this in the mirror. And then obviously just the stick and chair combo is broken. Uh, two breakthroughs. Uh, I I didn't play these. I actually won a Philly regional like probably like a month or two ago, and I didn't main deck these. Um, but when I was playtesting around with my deck, I realized I wanted more ways to stop Trish and stop stuff like Brio, or if they had like um, if they have like a unicorn board and have like this set. With uh, Shek, I can just use Shek and then break through the Unicorn and okay. then use it on my turn to make Construct and stuff. Uh, so that's the main reason. These actually worked out really nicely. And then I just played these two because... Why not? Yeah. You have to. What about the uh, extra in the side deck? Alright, so for the extra, it's pretty standard. I played three Constructs, uh, two Sheks, never needed a third, double window, mm -hmm. uh, one... Of the blue guy. Did you not ever want to go into another one? No, I never need a second. Every time I summoned him, I won that turn and a couple in the, okay. the next turn. And then for my uh, Star Seraph oh, play. Of course, yeah. I played this. I don't believe I ever went into it, but in testing, I went into it sometimes, so I needed it. I think it's necessary. Yeah. So. And I played Leo, Black Girls, and Goyo. It, uh, it kind of sucked. The only time I really summoned Leo was against BA, and the next time he just dark holed it, so it was unfortunate. But it's cool. And then for my side, 
uh, two Maxes and two Lantias. When I go second against Necros, I put these in. Um, but when I go first, I actually don't put these in. My side's a little bit interesting. I play three space, uh, one defusion for the mirror. I had two in there, but I was like, I really only want the one. I don't want to clog my hand. Yeah. Uh, so then when I go first against Necros, I side in uh, usually like, when I first went in, I decided in these four cards, but I decided I'd rather just have the second Torrential instead of the Mind Crush. So when I go first against Necroth, I decided in those four cards. And I play two Fairy Wounds against the Flea matchup. You just don't want to lose a play. Yeah, I actually didn't play any Cleese. Like, that's, sure, that's pretty that's, lucky that's because lucky, yeah. that's the worst matchup for me, so. Yeah. Well, again, Fisher, congrats, man. That's a pretty big accomplishment coming top 64 in Nats. All right. Mm -hmm. Shouts to everybody. Shouts. <laughs> Congratulations again. Spoof with the car, guys, and we'll see you guys later. All right.